Hi, Lova. Hi. Uh, could you please introduce yourself uh, for our audiences first, and then I will gonna ask you more questions. So my name is Lova Nyqvist-Weld, and then I'm a criminal reporter, a journalist who works here in Stockholm. And I follow this trial, but also follow other trials in this podcast that I have that's called Säkerhet Salen, which is mostly about uh, different, uh, lo lo different crimes and cases and also uh, or mostly um, about organized crime. So this is a bit different from the other cases that I usually uh, report. And what, what do you think about this uh, trial? Uh, it's been very long. <laughs> most trial, like most trials I go to, it's not this long, and it's also so big. It's a whole history in one crime case, so it's very like two different pieces of history and politics combined with Swedish and international law. So it's been very interesting and very show. Like I've learned a lot as a journalist and a crime reporter, and also about the history in Iran. And uh, what do you think about the what uh, about I mean uh, the the judges, the persecutors, uh, the lawyers, and also the uh, I mean uh, Hamid Nouri himself. What, what, What's your idea about? Uh, I think it's been I don't know. Uh, it's not my my uh, job to validate their work. I only observe and try to understand and put it in context. But I would say it must have been very very like big and uh, exhausting for all of them. And you can also hear this at the end where the judge also took time to thank you the the translators and everyone involved because this has been such a big apparatus and uh, a lot of security and all that so it's been interesting and also in other cases that are not this big maybe a, a lawyer or a prosecutor talks for one day or some, something like that this has been for days and days so it's a lot of material so I think it's been uh, quite the work for all of them Did you have any information about executions in Iran before this trial? Yes, I did, but not in this uh, not in this context. I didn't, and in this specific year. So I had some knowledge before, but not not uh, as much as I do now. But I've also seen it uh, not as a history lecture. It's also been a trial. It's been someone that is accused of something. So it's also another perspective where there is more uh, law and jurisdiction about. And then uh, after this experience. What will uh, what will you gonna do? What do you have? I mean, in your, what do you have in your pocket after this? Yeah, I've, I've published a couple of uh, a couple of episodes already at the beginning when I started following it, and, I, and when when the hearings were, and uh, also now. So this is going to be the big final episode, and I've followed this man who has followed the whole entire. Uh, trial who also lives here in Sweden, so I'll go and meet him soon here and hear his thoughts about this. And so there was be, will be one big episode that kind of like uh, puts an puts like an end to this story at this time. Great, thank you very much. Thank you.